Hey guys, welcome to a little channel update. So I'm going to sort of explain what's going on, what my plans are. So at the beginning of 2016, one of my New Year's resolutions was to make tutorial videos. And I kind of I purposely left that vague when I made the resolution because I knew if I set my goals too high, I wouldn't ever follow them. So in my mind, I completed that goal even though it was kind of later in the year, but that's fine. And my, my goal for 2017 is to make more videos. I really enjoy making videos. That was something that I used to do a lot and I missed. And that's why I made the resolution in the first place in 2016. And w once I started making the videos, I really enjoyed it and I, I realized how much I missed it. But uh, the way I did it was not healthy. I kind of did it all at once. I went on a spree. I made like six videos in a row within the period of maybe a week. And I uploaded them. I staggered them out. And I, I kind of got burned out. I spent put so much effort into it. And I'm, I'm a perfectionist. And that's really something I need to work on. Finding a balance between, um, you know, putting work into it so that it's a good video. It's useful and helpful and somewhat professional. But also so that it doesn't take so many t so much time so that I can get the video out there and then move on with my life and not feel burned out. You know, over time, I'll get better and I'll get faster. But at this point, I just I just can't commit to regular uploads. Um, I in my I'm currently I have a job. Well, I have two part time jobs, actually, and I'm a lead role in a play and I'm a full-time human being. <laughs> I have a social life. Uh, you probably, if you've watched the videos, you probably noticed, uh, like I have a nice microphone, but it's, it sits on my desk, and when I type keys on my keyboard, it, it, the vibrations go straight into the base of the microphone, and it's super bassy, super awful. Uh, in like episode four and five, I think, I had the microphone on a stool or something further away from my desk, so that helped with the bassy keyboard noises, but then I had a lot of background noise and I tried to filter that out and it kind of messed with my voice. <sighs> so the solution would be for me to buy a microphone stand and I feel like I'm at the point where I'm ready to do that. Um, I wasn't going to commit to that before. I mean, they're not really expensive. I can get a cheap one, but like, hey, why spend $50 on a piece of metal if I'm not going to actually make videos in the future? And I'm to the point where I feel like I, I've realized that I will enjoy it and I will make videos in the future. So it, it would be worth the investment. So I can't say when that will be that I'll, I'll get the, the mic stand, but um, it's something to look forward to. I guess not having really basic key noises in the background. I guess just thanks so much to everyone who's been watching my videos and subscribed. Um, I'm still like every time I, I log in, I'm, I'm floored by the, the positive response that I'm getting from my videos. What I said at when I started making the videos was if 10 people are helped by these, um, I'll, I'll be happy. And then I upped that to if 100 people are helped by this, then I'll be happy. And now th the first video has uh, over 17,000 views. I think that's just, um, incredible to me. I, I'm really happy that, I mean, you know, I probably didn't help 17,000 people, but I, I definitely helped a hundred people and I'm at, I'm at that goal. Some smaller things. Um, I had some people complaining about the text in the video being too small to read. And I have a 1080p monitor and a 1440p monitor. So that just completely did not cross my mind. In one of the episodes, I did some zooming in, which was a lot of work to edit. Uh, my video editor is really annoying about that. But uh, in episode six or part six, whatever, I keep calling it episode. In part six, I set my screen scaling or whatever in Windows 10 to 150%, I believe. Uh, so let me know what you think about that. I do want my videos to be accessible and usable uh, to as wide an audience as possible. Well, uh, I guess that covers everything I wanted to say in this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching and for your support. Every comment, every every like, I see it and it means a lot to me. So uh, thanks so much and stay tuned.